patriarch Athenagoras had said once, and it is actually exactly what we are living together. On the question of unity, the people also have their word to say. There is something profoundly just in the instinct of the people of God. For me, who I am not a theologian, I listen. I listen passionately to this voice of the people and I can tell you apart from some groups which only represent the past the people desire intercommunion young people want it the movement is irresistible. Even in the Orthodox countries, which could seem to be apart, this movement exists. It exists in the countries which have suffered most from state-imposed atheism, and where most people do not say to start with I am this or I am that but simply I'm a Christian we have to understand the groaning of the spirit only unity in the same chalice will enable us to bear witness of the resurrected one. May they be one as we are one. How can this prayer inflame humanity if we do not let it first inflame Christ's church, consume its partitionings? Through the centuries, Catholics and Orthodox quarreled whether or not fermented bread should be used for the Holy Eucharist. Nowadays, enormous fermentations upset humanity and we continue in other domains to have discussions on fermented bread. This is why young people vomit over us. They are often simplistic and view us harshly from outside, but their judgment should enlighten us. We talk about love, but we do not live love. We claim to possess the greatest love but it does not possess us. Ah, I wish that the impatience of youth would win over the theologians who would see themselves apart from history, discussing about fermented bread while millions of souls are dying of hunger and become so insensitive that Without the slightest problem, they allow millions to die of hunger. Those who believe in the risen Christ expect from Him true life. They know that they cannot receive it in fullness. For the salvation of the world May they receive it only if they receive it together.